Welcome to Bunya Toy Town. G'day mates. Welcome to part two of the September issue of the Blue Magazine. This issue is all about Chili and Bandit. Don't forget to check out part one and remember to please like, share and subscribe. Come on, let's get into it. Okay, ooh, romance. Bluey and Bingo want mum and dad to be more romantic so they've set up a fancy restaurant for them. This is a sticker page. Add your stickers to the pic below to dial up the romance a notch. Tick as you add. Okay, we have our stickers. First one, we have a fancy flower. That's romantic. Next, we got some beans. Tick. And a lamp. Ooh, that's romantic. And what about some moonlight? Ooh. Don't forget Bluey, who sings a lovely romance song. Here's Chef Bingo's special special. Stick some more delicious items. First, we'll add some tempura prawns. That'll make it extra special. Next, we'll add a mushroom. Put that on top of the sausage. And what about a banana? And another sausage balancing on a pickle. What would you put in an extra special special? Sausages, ice cream, jam, toothpaste. What if we add a big green broccoli? Oh, that'll be nice. What about some ice cream? Maybe a passion fruit flavor? And we'll put some toothpaste. Oh, that's gross. Oh, that'll be very minty. What about some chocolate and some mushrooms? Oh, how's your stomach? Is that a good combination? To make it extra special, we'll add some anchovies. And to top it off, we'll put a toffee apple. What do you reckon, Bandit? Next page. Oh, happy Bandit Day. Hey, Chooks. Take two secs to make this cool card for the big blue guy in your life. You will need safety scissors, glue, colored paper or cardboard, a pen, and a grown-up to help. Step one, snip or rip out the opposite page. Step two, stick the card onto colored paper or cardboard. Remove any air bubbles and cut out the extra bits of cardboard. Fold along the dotted line. You should be able to fold the card in half. Now the two dashed lines, uh, you have to cut along these lines. I suggest you cut along the smaller lines first, just so you don't go over the picky. Then turn it around. Now you have a space to put your scissors through, so you can finish uh, cutting along the dotted line. Step three, push up the strip between the dashed lines. This should now pop up inside the card, so it should look like this. Step four, cut out this cool bandit picky. Then stick the picky to the pop-up strip inside the card. Don't forget to write on the card. We'll address it to Grandpa. Step 5. Draw a ripper pic on the front of the card. We'll just write Grandpa's name. Let's see what the card says. It says, Oh Biscuits, you're the best. To Grandpa. Have a free and easy day. Love from Bunya Toy Town. Oh, that's choice. Don't forget to give it to your special bandit. Next page, quiz time! Answer the questions to see if you're more like Chili or Bandit. Aw, oh, sick! This is a fun game! Question 1. On a rainy Saturday, you can be found A. Curled up reading a book. Or B. Flat out on the couch watching telly. I would say I would choose B. Watching telly. Which one would you do? Question 2. Your fave sport. A. Hockey. Or B. Cricket. Oh mate, neither of these would be my fave sport. My fave sport is the footy. Uh, cricket's a bit boring. Uh, I don't know about hockey, but I'd probably choose A. Hockey. Question three. Your mates would say you're A. Calm and kind. B. Loud and proud. Oh mate, I'll definitely have to choose B. I'm loud. I'm proud. Fave color. A. Orange always, or B, blue, too easy, or oh, definitely blue. I'm blue. Question 5. When no one's watching, you'll be A, dancing, or B, scratching your bum. What do you think? Yep, that's right, the bum scratch. So if your answers are mostly A's, then that means you're more like Chili. Just like Chili, you're calm, kind, 
but most of all cool. Your friends can count on you to give them a hug when they're down or make them smile with your smooth dance moves. Now I've got mostly B's, four to be exact, so that means I'm more like Bandit. Now if you're more like Bandit, you're easy going and super fun. You know how to make people laugh and have a good time, even when trying new things. Come on mates, give it a go. Let's see who you're more like. Are you a chili or are you more like Bandit? Next page, ooh, love on the bus. Oh, the bashful passenger mum is in love with the hairy bus driver dad. Create the busy bus scene with your stickers. This is a sticker page. Look at bus driver dad, he's singing. The wheels on the bus go round and round. I catch the bus because I'm secretly in love with the bus driver, says mum. Oh really? He's a bit hairy, isn't he? Says Granny Janet. Let's give the passenger mum a lovely hat. Oh, looking lovely. Maybe that'll catch the bus driver's eye. Join the dots and colour the love hearts. Let's add lots of heart stickers. Oh, mum. Looks like you're definitely in love. I guess she must love hairy blokes. Ding! Stick the bell here. Stick the bus stop sign over here. And don't forget to stick a button over here. But it turns out the bus driver is married to a giraffe. Find a way through the maze so the grannies can get him. Ah, the grannies made it. Next page, backpackers. Join mum and dad on their backpacking adventure. Draw along the path as you travel along. Oh wow, check out mum and dad with their backpacks. Mum's bags are muffin and socks, while dad is carrying bluey and bingo. Oh poor dad, your bags must be heavy. You don't look too happy. Okay, let's start over here. Let's draw along the path. Oh, what's this? First stop, croissants. Dad is very hungry. Oh, dad hungry already? Well, I guess you gotta try the local eats. Let's continue your backpacking adventure. Where did you guys travel to? Looks like you went to France if you're eating croissants. Ooh, what's this? How many croissants does Bandit eat? If it's all of them, you go to the path to the left. If it's just one, you go to the path to the right. Let's just say Bandit just ate one. We don't want to be too greedy. Let's follow this path. Ooh, a ride. Take us to the hotel, mate. Okay. Oh, so this is an express route. So thirsty. Fill up a water bottle for dad by colouring it blue. Let's continue our journey. Okay. Stop to take a photo of a temple, but it's blurry. Circle the temple photo if you can work it out. Oh, mate. I should have went to Specsavers. This one looks like a banana. You ain't getting me with that trick. So... The left one must be the temple. Let's circle it. Let's continue our journey. Mum and Dad made it to the hotel. But can you spot their two passports among all their stuff? First, let's go all the way to the end. Then we'll look for their passports. There's one passport and there's the other. We found it. Now draw the view from their balcony. What awesome things can they see? Well, I guess they can see some hills. And on top of the hill, we have the temple. We have some clouds, it's a nice day. Oh, I hope you went to Specsavers Bandit, so you can enjoy this wonderful view. And our final page, we got some Chilean Bandit masks. It's a super simple mask you make. So things you'll need, you'll need some scissors, pencils, cardboard, sticky tape, and a grown up to help. Step 1. Cut out the mask from the mag. Now, in order to make some peepholes, we have to cut out the eyes, but it can be a bit tricky. I recommend you bend the picky a little bit just like this and you give it a little snip, just so you can put your scissors in. Now your cutting can be more accurate. Okay, now it's Chili's turn.
Now, we have to stick our mask to some cardboard to make it more firm, just so it's not flimsy. I'm using this empty tiny teddy's box. Now put the mask on the cardboard and give it a bit of a trace using a pencil. Don't forget the eyes. I'll write bandit so I know whose mask it is. Now it's Chili's turn. Do the same thing. Next we cut out our cardboard templates. We cut out the peep holes using our previous technique. You don't have to be accurate, you can make the holes bigger if you want. Our pickies will go over this so you don't have to worry if you do some dodgy cutting. So we add glue to the back of Chili's picky, then we stick it on the cardboard. Make sure you remove any bubbles, try and make it as neat as possible. Look at that! We'll do the same process for Bandit's mask. So we'll add some glue to the back of Bandit's picky and stick it onto the cardboard, just like Chili's one. Remember to remove the bubbles, otherwise your mask will look funny. Once the masks are dried, we flip it around, then we tape a pencil to the back of each of the mask to hold them in front of your face. Oh, too easy. These look perfect for the little chooks. Let's test it out on Bluey and Bingo. Hey Chili, have you seen Bluey? Where's Bluey? All I see is Chili and Bingo. Where's Bluey? Oh, there you are, Bluey! Now, can you spot who's behind Chili and Bandit? Hmm, I wonder who it is. This is like the Mask Singer. Oh, Bluey had the Chili Mask and Bingo had the Bandit Mask. Thank you for watching part 2 of the September issue of the Bluey magazine. Don't forget to check out part 1 and remember to please like, share and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. For mom, big Josh, quick to subscribe.